Hi, what's going on? My name is Anand and in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Google Workspace account with Gromi Organic, which is very simple to do. I have already written an article about how do you do that. So I'm going to put the link of this article in the description below so that you can follow along. But, you know, let me just quickly show you what are the things which are going to be involved when you're going to connect your Google Workspace account. So before you go ahead and, you know, start filling your credential in the Gromi Organic dashboard, you'll have to do these two things. Number one is enable your IMAP. Number one is enable your IMAP so that your replies can be tracked. And number two is create a app password because you cannot put your direct password inside Gromi Organic. So you will have to create a app password. So I will be showing these two things. First of all, number one is enabling your IMAP and number two is creating your app password. So let's just first see how to enable the IMAP. So you need to open your Gmail where you are logged in with the right email. So for me, this is the email that I want to connect with Gromio Organic. So I'm logged in with this over here. And then you can go to your settings, click on see all settings and head over to forwarding and pop slash IMAP. And this is where you can enable your IMAP. This is the very first thing you need to do and click on save changes. As soon as you do it, your IMAP is enabled and you're ready to track all the replies. This is the very first thing. Now, after you have enabled your IMAP, you will have to create the app password, which is the next step. So head over to myaccount.google.com. You need to go to this link, which I'll put in the description below as well. So head over to myaccount.google.com and then once again verify whether you are logged in with the right email or not. This is very important. If you're not right, uh, if you're not logged in with the right email, just make sure you switch that to the right email which you want to connect with Gromi Organic. Now, once you've done that, head over to security and scroll down a little bit until you find two-step verification. In your case, it might not be enabled, so you need to ask your administrator to allow you to turn on the two-step verification. But if it is already enabled, then you don't have to do anything extra. But if, if in many cases, by default, it is not enabled. So, you know, just ask your colleague who have the admin access. And if you're the one who already have the admin access, then good for you. Just head over to admin.google.com, which is, which will look something like this admin.google.com if you're the one who owns the google workspace account then you just need to go to admin.google.com this is your admins admins dashboard and you need to search for two-step verification like this so if i search for two-step verification i'll be getting this uh, two-step verification under the settings under the features so i just need to click over here and it will take me to this link. So you can just look at the link over here to just quickly verify whether you're on the right page or not. But basically once you, you know, reach here, you need to allow users to turn on their two-step verification. It now, it is not compulsory if it is already enabled. So first, like you can just, you can just go to your account and you can check whether it is enabled for you already or not, right? Now it's just like a extra, you know, overhead for you to do it, to go to your admins account and just enable that. But if it is already enabled, don't go to your admin, don't go to the person who is responsible to do it. You can just, you know, head over here and just, you know, double, double check whether two step verification is already enabled in your account or not. Only if two step verification is not enabled is when you need to reach out to the IT guy or whoever has the access to ask them to allow users to turn on their two-step verification. Now, once you have your two-step verification enabled from your admins console, now you need to turn on the two-step verification from here as well, because now you just got the right to enable your two-step verification. You haven't enabled your two-step verification. So you need to click on this by default, instead of on, it's going to be off for you. And once you click here, it will ask you for your phone number. You need to put your phone number. It will send you a OTP. You need to verify that so that your Google workspace account is connected with your phone number. Now, once you enable the two step verification, you can create a app password. And this is what we want. We are doing all these things just to enable the app password. So your app password will be enabled once you have enabled your two step verification. And this is where you can create a app password. So I'll be choosing the custom name from here and I'll be putting Gromi organic. 
click on generate and this is the app password that i need to put inside my gromi organic dashboard i cannot use my general password inside gromi organic i'll be using this one and after recording this video i'm going to delete this password so it's not going to work for anyone who's going to try this password so now head over to your gromi organic dashboard and this is where you need to go to senders SMTP in order to connect your SMTP server. Let me just quickly show you one more time. So once you're at your all tools, head over to email campaigns and then head over to connect new sender and then click on connect a sender. This is where you can name your sender as so I'm going to name it as Anand G Suite because I'm connecting my G Suite account. And this is going to be easier for me to identify which server uh, you know, I'm choosing while creating the campaign. So I'm going to name it as Anand followed by G Suite. Now here I can put it as Anand Gupta, which, you know, uh, my recipients will be able to see once they receive my email. And here is, uh, you know, you need, you need to put the exact uh, email, which is this one. Now, uh, here you can choose Google Apps, which is going to pre-fill all these values so that you don't have to do it on your own. So choose the Google Apps from here. And as you can see, all of these are going to be pre-filled and you just need to fill the username and the password. So username, the exact same thing, anand.gupta as the .com. And for password, you can get it from here, which you just created. Now you need to also enable the IMAP in order to track and read the replies. So here I will be putting the same password, which I copied from there. And the username is going to be the exact same thing. So just putting the username over here and here you can put your signature. If you have a HTML signature, then head over to source code and paste your HTML uh, code over here and your signature will be connected. Now here I can put my daily sending limit as 15 and I can just choose as of now, I'm just going to choose a random time zone, but you can choose whatever time zone you want from here. And then here you can choose your custom tracking domain. So I'm just, I'm just going to keep whatever it is as of now, and then click on update and check this sender. That's it. Once you do that, as you can see, your G suite account is successfully connected with Rumi organic. Now, if you have more questions, drop it down in the comment below. I'll be happy to answer all the questions and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.